Hello and welcome to this slide video from the Cornish Radio Amateur Club and this is in the Foundation series leading to the Foundation Amateur Radio Exam by the RSGB. Now today we're going to look at uh, power and uh, this uh, video leads on from the previous video which looked at voltage, current and resistance and addressed uh, Ohm's law. So here we are, this is the one we're looking at, 3D. If you haven't already watched that, I suggest you watch it because it's really just a continuation. Let's have a look and see what the syllabus says about power. It says, recall the relationship between potential difference, voltage, current and power. And then it gives three forms of a formula, P equals V times I, I equals P over V, and V equals P over I. In the second part says, calculate the unknown quantity given the numerical value of the other two. Well, this is very similar to what we did in the previous video when we looked at Ohm's law. If you remember, we constructed a simple circuit of a cell which has a voltage across it, and the voltage drives a current through a resistance. Now, Ohm's law relates uh, the current, the voltage, and the resistance. And if you remember the equation, V equals IR, where I is the current and R is the resistance. So V equals IR, I equals V over R, and R equals V over I. And in the previous video, we constructed a triangle to relate these together. Now, continuing on from that, if we put a current through a resistance, we get heat. So, in fact, we're generating power in the form of heat. If, for example, there was an electric motor there, we would generate power in the form of mechanical energy. But in this example, we generate power in the form of heat. Well, how much power do we generate, or how much power is dissipated? Well, let's call the power P watts. And the equation that links the power to the current and the voltage is P equals I times V. And remember, the unit of power is the watt. P equals IV. Now, just like the Ohm's law equations, or the Ohm's law formula, we can also re-express the same formula in another two ways. I equals P over V will give us the current in terms of the power and the voltage, and V, the voltage, equals P over I. So if we know any two of these, we can find out the third. Now, once again, just like the V at the top, I, R, triangle, we can use a triangle to help us sort this out. And here it is. It's the P, I, V triangle. And if we want to find out what the power is, we would cover P, and we see at the bottom there of the triangle, P equals I times V. That's the first form of the equation. If we cover I, that gives us I equals P over V. And similarly, if we cover V, that gives us V equals P divided by I. Now, there are other equations which you will learn and uh, there will be in the intermediate and the foundation and the advanced course, I beg your pardon, where you can use uh, resistance as well. You could either use voltage and resistance or current and resistance. But for the um, foundation course, this is all that is required, that you be able to use the PIV um, triangle. Now remember, in each of these cases, we must always go back to fundamental units. 
if we're giving if we're given volts it as millivolts we must remember to re-express them as volts let's have a look at just a couple of examples because we'll be doing more in class let's have a look at this one here what is the current here we've got one unknown and two knowns we've got the voltage known and we've got the power being dissipated from the resistor known the voltage is 2 volts and the power is 10 watts so the question is what is i we cover up i and that gives us i equals p over v and that equals 10 because a watt is a fundamental base unit should i say um, and at over 2 volts, so it equals 10 over 2, so I equals 5 amps. 5 amperes, but we short it to, shorten it to amps. So there's the answer there. The current around that circuit is 5 amps. Let's have a look at one more example. In this circuit, we're given the current and the voltage. What is the power being dissipated? Well, we cover up P, that's the unknown, and we get P equals IV. Now you notice here that I've dropped using the multiplication sign. I didn't write P equals I times V. That's quite a common way of doing it. Sometimes dotted notation is used, and it would be P equals I dot V. But this is taken and generally accepted to mean P equals I times V. So P equals IV, or I times V, and in this case, it's 6 amps times 2 volts. So it's 12 watts. And note again the capital W for watts because it's after James Watt, the person. So let's look at the syllabus again. The syllabus says, recall the relationship between potential difference, or voltage, current, and power. P equals VI, I equals P over V, and V equals P over I. And it says, calculate the unknown quantity given the numerical value of the other two. Well, we did two examples there. We didn't calculate V given P and I, but that would be uh, an easy one to do, and as I say, we'll practice some of those in class. So that's two triangles that we've learned so far. The Ohm's Law triangle, V at the top, I, R at the bottom, and the power triangle, P at the top, I and V at the bottom. Thank you very much for listening. And in the next video, Foundation 3F, we will look at frequencies and wavelengths.